Israel is a small country in the Middle East with 8 million people and 9 million startups. And we wanted to find out why that was. So we thought we'd bring together a group of interesting Israelis who could answer that question. Okay, Israel is a great country. Israel is a big country with very few startups, only one startup by an individual. When we invest in a company, we look for a few things. Number one, we look for great entrepreneurs with a great vision, just like Adam. Persistency, a great technology, carving themselves a category that they are actually leading. And personally, when I invest in, in a company, I would like to see an ability to grow the company to revenues beyond a billion dollars and become a global player. I believe in competitive advantage. So I think Israelis are extremely good at um, cracking the first problem and being obsessed about something like a commando, you know, like an army unit, but outside of the army. So we're very good at being focused and doing one thing and really go at it. I'll tell you what, what I think we had. I think we were naive. We were very stubborn to succeed. And uh, our belief is that if you try 100 times, so the 100 at one will succeed. But I mean, like, talking now, what can change the periphery and the Arab community? I would say that the investments that the government is supplying are crucial. Israeli companies, the same way that they would export their product globally, they will also raise money globally. Chemi mentioned that uh, today uh, any technology company can access uh, global uh, uh, funding, but you see that also in the number of Israeli companies that went public overseas. There have been 220 Israeli companies that went public on the Nasdaq, and people may be less familiar with the fact that there have been more than 100 Israeli companies that went public in Europe. Technological talent in Israel is very unique, uh, very strong, and a lot of the cor a lot of these corporates want to go after that um, that kind of talent. Um, I think now we actually offer much more than just engineering talent. Israel is expensive, right? Israel is not a place where you go to uh, uh, outsource your engineering. It's a place where you go to have sometimes small teams that are doing things that are are completely outside of what the norm or the things that the corporate would do. Mm -hmm.